Hi everyone, in this video we will go over how the Prestige works. Once you understand how the Prestige works, you can also apply that knowledge to other printers in the future as the same fundamentals still apply as you scale up to larger printers. Let's begin at the ink. These ink containers are where your ink is stored, ready to be used. All prints are created using these five colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and white. These little spouts are for the air intake. It allows air into the ink containers to allow the ink to easily flow out. And they have these small air filters to prevent any dust or debris from getting into your ink. From here, the ink flows through these lines and heads over to your dampers. Your dampers are a sort of reservoir for your ink. If you didn't have dampers, you will need a lot of pressure or suction in order to get the ink flowing consistently all the way from your ink containers to your print head. With the dampers being connected directly to the print head, it allows for a consistent and low friction flow of ink into your print head. Your print head is what controls and applies the ink to your substrate. The ink nozzles are usually so small that they are quite difficult to see. But the print head drops a multitude of droplets in order to create amazingly detailed prints every time. Now your print head sits inside the printer carriage. This carriage is what moves the print head horizontally, left and right, while the substrate moves vertically, up and down. When the printer carriage moves horizontally, it uses the encoder strip here to understand its own location. If the encoder strip is too dirty, it can cause issues where the carriage is not able to read it. Now to the right side of the printer, whenever the carriage is not covering it, you will see the capping station. The capping station is where your print head sits on top of it to prevent ink from drying. The capping station also has the suction cap, which is responsible for your head cleanings. This is what forcefully pulls ink from the print head to remove any clogs from your nozzles. The suction cap then takes that excess ink and sends it back through the waste tube into the waste tank. This little piece right here is the wiper blade. This is used to wipe any excess ink off the face of the print head. This is what is extremely crucial to always have the wiper blade cleaned since it makes direct contact with the most sensitive part of your printer. Now this next part is done differently for every printer, but in order to help in keeping the white ink in good condition, the Prestige has a white ink management system, or WIMS. To help circulate the white ink when idle, this is done by taking the ink from the ink container using the WIMS system, sending it over to the white ink box. Then from here, if the printer stays idle, it will send it back to the ink container while bringing fresh white ink in the box. Once the printer starts production, then the white ink from the ink box will start being transferred to the damper, and then to the print head for printing. To understand why this is necessary, you have to understand how the white ink differs from all the other colors. White ink specifically has titanium dioxide in order to help adhesion either through pre-treat or hot melt powder. When left idle, the white ink separates from the titanium dioxide, resulting in a very faded white print. In order to combat that, you have not only the white ink management system, but the requirement to shake your white ink daily and much more often than any of your other colors. To see our full video on the entire maintenance process, please click the link in the description below. Alright, that is it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe to this channel, and hit that bell icon to get notified for our future videos. Thanks for watching.